Okay, good afternoon and uh, welcome to Anfield. My name is John Buscana, I'm the director. Uh, apologies for the slight delay uh, in starting today. Um, it's welcome back for many people. Um, we're in about three weeks since we were last um, here. Um, obviously since then the tournament started in Hull with the Kangaroos um, being victorious. Uh, moved on the next day to Huddersfield. Uh, Sean Johnson breaking England hearts um, at the Johnson Stadium. On to Coventry for the double header and that absolutely spectacular drive uh, by Matty Russell. Um, and then working to an old Friday night where uh, Scotland made um, history. Uh, the group game finishing on Sunday in London with uh, an absolute masterclass performance by the Kangaroos. Uh, congratulations to Mal and David and the respective players on making the Brooks Four Nations uh, final. Uh, the stage is set, so you'll see the goalpost um, outside. Um, so we are all set for what should be a fantastic game on Sunday. Um, thanks to Liverpool Football Club, uh, they've been absolutely fantastic over the last few weeks in the planning and preparation for Sunday's game. And special thanks to our partners, Lab Brooks and also the BBC, for their quite magnificent coverage. Over 5 million, spectators, five million uh, people have watched the games um, on the BBC over the last uh, few weeks. Um, so I'm not going to um, open up um, the presser if you could just um, say your name uh, and where you're from. Uh, we'll use the microphones uh, today to pass the, those over. Okay, thank you. Sir. Sean sure answer now. <laughs> um, you know, we've got a couple of options here. Um, we've got a couple of training sessions coming up, so we'll figure it out then. Mr. Murray Martin have a chance. As I said, mate, we've got a couple of options there, Steve. And uh, you know, whoever comes in there, uh, we'll have full confidence we'll be able to do the, to do the job. Mark, in Labour Press Association, have you decided who comes in for some Friday? Uh, no, not yet, but um, we'll make a decision over the next couple of days. <laughs> uh, oh, there's two options, uh, Shannon Boyd and um, Jake Kavoyevich, so they're sort of our, our, our forward reserves at the moment, so we'll make a decision in the next you know, 24 hours, 48 hours. And who do you expect to play at 5 8 for the Kiwi? Um, I don't know, to be honest with you. So, um, we had to pick our side yet for the, for the final, obviously it's, it's fairly well settled, but um, you know, we haven't even, you know, put any thought into, into the Kiwis as yet, so we're just um, making sure that our preparation is good. You know, we've um, played a really good game on, on Sunday, so it's just a matter of recovery and, and um, you yeah, know, preparing, getting us all ready to prepare to train you know, Sunday tomorrow. Well, I'll let you Does it feel special uh, leading the team down at such a great stadium with so much heritage for the world's Yeah, it's an iconic stadium. It's, you know, fantastic. I was a, Liverpool follow when we have since this young young fella and um, like I've said often, you know, when I played for St Helens, I used to come here and watch Liverpool side play. So it's it's a fabulous stadium. It's obviously better than when I first came here, but um, I know the players are really excited about coming here and playing the final year. Who was your hero? Who was your football hero? Um, Craig Johnson. <laughs> Good Australian. <laughs> <laughs> so got a, a lot of people on both in New Zealand and Australia are arriving the Kiwis off. How do you feel? Oh look, we're, um, we're at the final dance now and you know we've worked hard to be here. Uh, you know, being away from our families for five or six weeks now. So uh, you know this this group's been committed, you know, from the start and we get an opportunity on Sunday to uh, you know uh, make our families proud and you know we get to play at a special stadium. And uh, you know, it's a, I think it's the first time in history the rugby league test match is played here. So you know, taking that opportunity and um, making it something special. Yeah, you got uh, two two defeats recently against Australia. Why do you think you've just been lucky as a team? Um, yeah, just our execution at times. Um, and you know, I thought you know Australia's big men and the outside backs really got them on the front foot there. In both games, so you know it's something that you know we've um, sort of got to look at and uh, make sure our execution's right. Yes, I know. Like uh, at the England game, the forward packs really stood up against the big physical England packs. That England really can't set a platform against the Australians, really fronting them up and uh, 
trying to get one up with some fire doing with um, I think so. I think we are, we've done a great job over the last couple of times we've played uh, this tournament. You know, that's a big ask against Australia. You know, they've got a, a very tough forward pack and their, their bench doesn't get any easier. So it's a, it's a tough ask for our boys, but you know, it's something that we've been working on. I guess their training, we've been working really hard and hopefully we can show that on Sunday. Dan, uh, Blake Dane from Fairfax, New Zealand. There's been some criticism from figures like Andrew Johns who spoke about yeah, we've sort of moved on from there and, uh, you know, we've got to have the right attitude for Sunday. Uh, we're playing against an Australian team that's, um, you know, beaten us the last couple of times. But again, you know, I've got full confidence in this team and the way we've prepared, uh, they're committed. Um, so we'll just, yeah, wait for Sunday. David, you got really put into the referee. You already been working to that. Are you, are you happy about him referee in the final on Sunday? Yeah, look, um, you know, Ben's a good referee, and uh, we're just looking forward to um, a, a good battle. And you know, knowing you know, um, the boys have played and been refereeing in the NRL, um, you know, it's something that the boys, you know, are looking forward to. And we're just looking for an, um, a great contest and um, to be refereed and. In a, in, a, in a good way. Any thoughts now about the referee? Um, well, I don't like talking about referees in any game, to be honest with you. I think, um, you know, they referee fair and, and equal. Um, you know, we've got no qualms about who referees, whether it's a, an Australian or an Englishman, you know. So, um, I it's all fair and, and um, you know, uh, both both sides get the, the, the same, you know, the same refereeing standards. Um, you feel you feel you feel you feel some new boys on top this time, aren't they? Being the first time working on with the boys. <laughs> yeah, they've, um, they've really enjoyed this trip so far, no doubt. Um, we gave uh, the squad a few days off after we played uh, New Zealand last week, and a few of them had down to Barcelona to let their hair down a little bit. But um, no, when, when they've been asked to train hard, they have, and when they need to pay attention in our meetings, they have. So um, yeah, that's the experience of, of touring with. With, um, with sporting teams is you, know, you need to work hard you're here to do a job but at the same time you need to enjoy each other's <coughs> company and they've certainly done that we've had some uh, some pretty funny times who's, who's been your, your new friend on the tour who's the, the lad you've been closest to um, oh, I think the, the beauty of this squad at the moment is that we're, we're all very close um, who, who's been hanging around me a bit I don't know no, they don't hang around me, I'm too old. Too old, too old, too old. 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 Too old, too and when the players go run out there, it's a 50-50, it's you know. So, you know, you've got to still put the preparation in, you've still got to have the right attitude and commitment and desire, um, and you've got to execute when you're out there as well. So, um, we know that New Zealand will be up for this game. You know, we know that, you know, regardless of what happened last week, uh, they've got a great footy side, great forwards. Um, you, know, you know, Sean Johnson's one of the best players in the world. Um, behind that, so you know, the Alphas have got a big job this this weekend to try to counteract that. So, you know, we understand that we have to play and get our best to, to have any chance of being successful this weekend. So, we don't we don't even talk about favourites or underdogs now. Well, how do you feel about playing on the ground? It's still a smile on your face just walking around. Yeah, I think um, this is what this is the reason you play sport, isn't it? To play on the best grounds and. It's what international sport's about, and you know, first time as Dave said, playing a, a regular test match, it's, uh, it's a special feeling, you know, to be to be a part of that. Um, I was lucky enough only a few years ago to, to play the World Cup final at Old Trafford, and um, Jesse was there also, uh, and that was just a a whole lot of my my career. Um, and again, Sunday will we'll make that uh, the high one of the highlights as well. So. Um, yeah, I think we've got a pretty healthy crowd on the way at the moment. I think we're at about 30,000, 30, 35,000, which is, which is uh, it's great. It's um, great to see everyone jump behind rugby league in the north of England. Yeah, we had a great turn in London. Um, typically, 
support of the 15 man inside the code, but um, yeah, we had 35,000 there as well. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. It's, it's special. You know, all the all the guys involved in the Kangaroos are really excited. We had a goal at the start of this tour to, to be here um, this weekend, and we made it. So we just want to make the most of it now. Jesse, were you a member of that World Cup final? That boys didn't seem to get out of the starting box that night. Um, yeah. Bad memories from that. Um, we obviously didn't perform. We had a, you know, really cracking game against England in that semi-final and just scraped past them and got to the final and yeah, just didn't get out of the blocks hard enough and uh, just got done. If there's anything to learn, it's probably our start. You know, they come out really hard, blew us off the park really early, and we just couldn't find our feet after that. So. Yeah, my tip would be to start really good this weekend. Okay, thanks guys. Um, we'll now get some uh, more members of the squad will come out. Um, if you speak to TA or Glenn from New Zealand, Australia, if you want to speak to anyone in particular, if broadcasters can make their way to the back, we'll uh, bring the players out now. Yeah, thanks guys.